Hi everyone, welcome to another Family Art Time to Go with the Art Center of Corpus Christi. Today we are going to be making a butterfly using a clothespin. So let's get started. Okay, let's go over all of the items in your kit. You will be getting a clothespin, paint, cardstock, a butterfly template, a black marker, a wood stick, a magnet. You will need to have a glue gun or some strong glue, scissors, and a pencil. Okay, the first thing you can do is go ahead and grab your butterfly and we are just going to cut out half of that butterfly. So go ahead and cut out your template. Okay, once your template is cut out, go ahead and put that to the side. Grab your cardstock and you are going to fold that in half. Okay, you're gonna open that back up and get your wood paint stick. And we are just going to put some paint on one side. You're gonna put some dots and squiggles. Don't make it too thick, otherwise um, later on you'll see it'll be hard for you to use the marker over it. Um, so go ahead and do that. Okay, so once you are comfortable with your paint, go ahead and fold that in half and press firmly and some paint might come out on the side. That's fine. Just make sure you have a tablecloth. Um, you're going to open it back up and you are going to see a really cool design. What you need to do is let that dry completely. I'm going to use a blow dryer. Okay, so go ahead and just put some paint with your finger on uh, that small portion of the clothespin. Let that dry. Uh, now what we're going to do is close back your dry piece. Once it's dry, you're going to fold it back, get your butterfly, and uh, go ahead and trace that butterfly out. make sure its body is um, on the fold. Okay, once you have your butterfly uh, drawn out, you're gonna go ahead and cut that. Okay, once your butterfly is cut, go ahead and open it. And you know what I noticed with mine? I wanted to put some more paint on there. And so you can do that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little bit more paint on there. Just a tiny bit on one side. And then I'm going to go ahead and fold it back over. And I'm going to let that dry again and probably use a blow dryer for that, okay? Okay. 
All right, so the next thing that we are going to do is go ahead and um, make sure that it's dry and grab your black marker and you are going to watch me go ahead and make the antennas. Um, let me go ahead, oh, here it is. The other uh, blank portion of your butterfly, go ahead and just uh, watch me just make a little rectangle and fill it in. Okay, go ahead and cut out that rectangle. And once you do that, cut that rectangle in half to create your antennas. Okay, so now we are going to go ahead and fill in that body of your butterfly in the middle. And we're gonna start making some designs. So go ahead and just watch me. Um, do your best to make your butterfly design, okay? I did notice um, if you do put your paint on a little bit thick, it is a little bit harder to draw on it. So don't put it too thick when you're doing it. Um, if you need to go bad, back and add a little bit, go ahead and do that, but just don't make it too thick. Okay, so I am done making my designs. The next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and grab your clothespin and make sure that your parents are helping you with that glue gun. We are going to uh, go ahead and put on the antennas first.
Okay, so now we are going to go ahead and glue the body onto the clothespin and just make sure that it is dry. and glue the magnet. Now gluing the butterfly you might not need um, a glue gun. You can use Elmer's glue but that magnet will definitely need stronger glue like a glue gun. Okay and then you are done with your butterfly. Put that on your refrigerator. Any, any kind of metal surface will work. We'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.